Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade and look what I got in the mail today. It is the new Skeleta Calaveras adult collector doll. This is a special Amazon exclusive doll. She was $35. This is a similar idea as the Draculaura doll that came out last year that Amazon put out, although that doll was $50 and this one's $35. Noticeably, uh, this comes in a much simpler box. I would rather have a simpler box and pay $15 less, so I'm excited about that. But it is nonetheless very beautiful. There's beautiful flowers and little candles around it, like the Dia de los Muertos, which is a Mexican holiday where they celebrate uh, people that have passed on and have died. And there's a cute little skeleton. I love the box design with the Mexican uh, iconography and art. And then on the back is a gorgeous portrait of her. Really, a truly gorgeous portrait. I just love the colors, the hot pinks and yellows. There's a cute little story here. It does say that this doll is to commemorate the Day of the Dead or the Dia de los Muertos, uh, which is coming up. It's usually right after Halloween. I think it's November 1st. So I'm gonna get her out. We get a better look at her. Okay, we get a quick look at the background, which looks like a beautiful little village, and then the little tissue paper banners hanging, and it looks like a full moon there. Okay, I did notice, oops, look, she lost her hand. I guess I better pull that out of there. She did come with a diary. The di This diary belongs to Skelita Calaveras, and it is in fact a diary. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's get her hand back on. I'm super excited. This doll came with a stand. I love doll stands. This is a super funky doll stand. It does have flowers all over it, and they have little skullets in there, which are just basically little skulls. And they go all the way down. And that side's kind of plain. And then the base, ooh, that's pretty. Look at the skull. It's all decorated again like the Day of the Dead designs, little hearts. Ooh, I like even the little sculpts around the edge of that. That's special. I really like that. Okay, now the Draculaura Amazon exclusive was bigger than normal dolls. So I'm wondering if she is taller and bigger. She is her skeleton self with her skeleton bones. This is one of the reasons I love Skeleta. <laughs> I mean, how cool to make a fashion doll that's a skeleton. And what they do do is they put this plastic a body shape over her skeleton form so that the clothes fit on her nicely. Otherwise, clothes aren't gonna fit great on that spine there. <laughs> Whoa, so detailed. Just really cool. And she has these beautiful hot pink shoes on. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Orange heart on the front. Chains on the back. All right. Let's look at her face. That's where we got to start. She's so pretty. I just love the way her face is painted. She has big giant eyes, long eyelashes, and then these very delicate little designs all over her face. And she does have the little stitches on the sides of her mouth there. And then look at her neck, how delicate her neck is because it's just little vertebrae. And then, so her hair, well, it's, it's kind of a off-centered part in the back, which is fine with me. Two ponytails, black hair with a teal going through, and then this little clip over it that's to be like flowers. And again, there's those little skulls inside. And the same with the one on top. That is so pretty. And that is a headband, but the headband 
is kind of, I don't want to say stapled, but pinned onto her head and I'm going to leave it on there for display because I think it's just beautiful. So you can, uh, even people that celebrate Day of the Dead, Mexican families, this is a beautiful doll just to have out to decorate for the holiday. And so in many cultures, this is not a scary doll at all. This is a doll to celebrate people that you've lost, that have passed on, that have died. And they, this is their way of remembering people that have died. Look at the hands, the skeleton hands. I just love it. And the arms, I mean, these are really intricate, delicate dolls. And then her dress, love the ruffle. Flowers, all the colors. And then there's kind of a petticoat. And the top part is sheer. Oh, and the bottom part, look at the lace. Oh, there's a skull in it, like a sugar skull. Uh, Day of the Dead looking design. That is so beautiful with the hearts. Oh, I just love it. She is really pretty. You know what? We might have to take her dress off just really to get the whole skeleton feeling. Oh, wow. Look at her back. This little plastic form. These come often when you buy fashion packs. In fact, I always save them to store my clothes away. And then there you go. The only unusual thing about the skeleton thing is it, there are boobs or breasts in the uh, ribs, which is kind of funny but effective. So she is a skeleton doll. I imagine some people this would freak out. I think it's awesome. And interestingly enough, the Mexican culture uh, does not fear this or think it's spooky. It's about celebrating people that you've loved that have passed on. And I just love that. So you guys tell me, do you love Skelita? I love her. I'm going for a love with a capital L. And I'm gonna use her to decorate for Halloween as well. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is they advertise this as an adult collector doll. Um, and maybe that's because they're small parts or maybe she's fragile, I don't know. Or maybe it's because she's $35. <laughs> but I bet there's a lot of kids out here that would like her. And uh, a lot of kids out there that have bought her and will buy her. So I'll be interested to hear from you what you think about people saying, calling this an adult collector doll. Now, as far as her height, let me get another. The only other doll I have handy right here is Freak to Chic Rochelle. And she's on a stand and she also has high shoes on, but nope, she looks to be right about the same size as the normal doll. So that Draculaura we got last year was special with a different body. She had that elongated trunk. And I'm not sure as if her face is cuter or cutesier <laughs> um, as are some of the new reboot dolls. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on her stand here. You guys let me know what you think of her and please be sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now.